family, friends, faculty, and staff, our honored and our platform guests, and most importantly, the class of 2024. I am John Schreckengoss, the principal here at Queen Anne's County High School, and this morning, and may I add a perfect morning, I welcome you to our commencement ceremony, recognizing and honoring the class of 2024. At this time, I would like to introduce our very own Mr. Devon Kamajis, who will lead us through our national anthem. So proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly stringed. still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave or the land of the free and the home of the It doesn't get any better than that. Thank you, Mr. Comages. It doesn't get any better than that either. At this time, I would like to introduce our platform and our honored guests. On our stage this morning, our superintendent, Dr. Salins. Our academic dean, Dr. Billy Bryce. The members of our Board of Education, starting with Board of Ed President, Ms. Helen Bennett. Our Vice President, Ms. Shannon Bent. Members, Ms. Alexis Scapes, Mr. Mark Schifanelli, and Mr. Dick Smith. Thank you, as always, for joining us. Four members of the class of 2025 sit next to me. Our valedictorian, Madeline George. Our valedictorian, Elizabeth Oldfield. Our salutatorian, Emily Kepler. And our class president, Kenyon Smothers. Welcome, you guys. Our superintendent's executive team joins us on stage. Our assistant superintendent, Dr. Matthew Kibler. Our chief financial officer, Ms. Whitney Gast. Our director of human resources, Dr. Michael Knoll. And our chief operating officer, Mr. Sid Binder. Behind me actually are two advisors of the class of 2024, Ms. Kenyatta Bowser and Ms. Chrissy Gilberto. <laughs> Along with our senior class counselor, Ms. Kelly Moore. <laughs> our honored guests, I believe one of our Queen Anne's County Commissioners, Mr. Phil Dumanel, is here. I know from our Queen Anne's County Sheriff's Office, Sheriff Hoffman and Major Boardman. Our state's attorney joins us this morning, Mr. Lance Richardson. 
our school resource officer keeping us protected every single day. Deputy First Class Johnston. From the Centerville to Police Department, Chief Hobbs and Lieutenant Laramore. And from our United States Army, Staff Sergeant Jorgensen and Sergeant First Class Crenshaw. From our U.S. Navy, First Class Petty Officer Lenker. We also have a group of Queen Anne's County Public Schools supervisors and support staff with us today. Ms. Jolene Smith, Ms. Michelle Morissette, Ms. Amy Smith, Dr. Darren Guido, Ms. Leslie Follum, Ms. Gina Morris, Ms. Allison Doolin, and around here protecting us as always again, Mr. Joe Sabori as well. Also with us, the program administrator from the Arise Academy, Mr. Kevin Tikinta. On our field, we have our other school counselors, our department chair, Mr. Bob Willis, and Ms. Kim Betts. Also on the field, our assistant principals, Ms. Herlock, Dr. Demby, and Mr. Lou Shepard. And also seated, our faculty and our staff. Thank you for joining us. At this time, I introduce our superintendent, Dr. Salins. Good morning, class of 2024. Today, you have accomplished the first milestone of your life and one that will open limitless opportunities to your future. Today, you have been successful. As you reflect on that success, you will no doubt remember great friends, kind staff, and supportive family. But I am certain you will also reflect on times that were harder than others, times you had to persevere, times of failure that ultimately made you stronger. Those are the times I want you to never forget. Remember those hard times that may have been overwhelming or even seemed impossible to overcome, but with support, you were successful. Now let's reflect on your class, the one that did not allow COVID to define your high school career, a class that is skillful, thoughtful, and kind. Some fun facts about the year you were born. Pluto was declassified as a planet. The Pittsburgh Steelers won the Super Bowl. <laughs> Google purchased YouTube for $1.65 billion. High School Musical debuted. Tiger Woods became the youngest player to compile 50 PGA wins. And it was the premiere of the animated film Ice Age. The meltdown. <laughs> On a more serious note, today you will leave here graduates of Queen Anne's County High School with many impressive plans for the future. Your class has members that will be serving our country by enlisting in the Coast Guard, the Air Force, the Navy, and the Army. Yeah, that's right. We thank you for choosing the service. 84 of you will be entering directly into the workforce. Many of those jobs are right here in our community, like Title Excellence, Western Auto, Chesapeake Air, Creole Lumber, the YMCA, Y River Marine, Churchill Theater, Bayside Kids Dental, and Tidewater Direct. Thank you for contributing to growing your hometown economy. And 179 of you will be continuing your education. 16 of you will be headed to a trade school to grow your skills as an electrician, a steam fitter, an auto mechanic, cosmetologist, carpenter, HVAC technician, and firefighter. Six of you will be participating in a Maryland year of service. 
68 will stay right here in Maryland and will be attending Chesapeake College and Anne Arundel Community College collectively. And an additional 52 of you will stay here in Maryland and attend a four-year institution like Washington College, St. Mary's College, Frostburg, University of Maryland, University of Maryland Applied Institute of Ag, Towson and Salisbury, just to name a few. 14 of you will be attending college in Virginia and West Virginia, including West Virginia, Virginia Tech, James Madison, and Tidewater. Three of you will be headed to Delaware to include Delaware Tech and University of Delaware. Eight of you will be headed further west to Montana State, Arizona State, Kent State, Cleveland Institute of Art, Northwestern, James River Colorado School of Mines, and Hutchinson. Twelve of you will be attending school in PA at Drexel, Penn State, Albright, and DeSales to name a handful. Twenty of you will be headed for some sunny days in the South, attending a variety of schools including UNC, East Carolina, Guilford, Alabama, Loyola, Florida Institute of Tech, Rollins, University of Tampa, Florida Southern, and many more. And someone very special to me will be headed to Flagler College in St. Augustine, Florida, and our family could not be more proud. A shout out to my nephew Griffin. We love you. You're a rock star. What? One of you will be attending college in Canada at the University of Alberta. And finally, one of you will be joining the FC Odyssey Professional Soccer Academy in Valencia, Spain. The class of 2024 is full of aspiring doctors, lawyers, engineers, nurses, teachers, and so much more. And it's just amazing. So as your excitement of today fades away, I challenge you to remember only one thing that I've shared today. No matter where you go and no matter what you do, remember the tough times in high school and how you had to persevere. I challenge you to take that grit and know there is nothing you can, cannot accomplish in this life. Congratulations and best of wishes, class of 2022. Thank you, Dr. Sounds. Thank you for your message today and for everything that you do for our school. You are appreciated. Thank you. All right. During the next few minutes, I will present to you four outstanding members of the class of 2024. First, I welcome to our platform the president of the class of 2024, Kenyon Smothers. Good morning, class of 2024. Students, family, friends, staff, and distinguished guests. My name is Kenny Smothers, the class of 2024 class president. Today is a day we've been waiting for where we say goodbye to this chapter of our lives. We get to say we made it through high school and celebrate all the memories and experiences you have had in your three and a half years here. You will forever hold those memories with you, but right now, these are our last moments as high school students. As you walk across the stage today, remember it Remember where you were taught, the teachers and educators that push us to be the best humans we could be, or the teachers who believe in us when no one else would. Some of us are ready to let go. It's okay not to be ready for what comes next. High school was challenging, and I think that all of us at one time or another felt like we couldn't do it. But here we are, in our cabin gowns, waiting for our names to be called to get our diplomas. We made it. We did it. And this chapter of our lives might be over, but we have our whole lives to make more memories. Thinking back, remember all the accomplishments and fun we made through senior sunrise with no sun, pet rally, and other activities. Leaving the school, nor were the last class to not have a full high school experience due to COVID, but still working hard to improve on everything inside and outside of the classroom. Remembering those three and a half years we walked these halls, reminiscing of when we were just freshmen, scared of what high school years would look like. As the president of this graduating class, it's a wonderful honor to address you on this special day. I am very proud to have served as your president, and everything in me knows that each of us will go forth and leave a memorable mark on the world. Without a doubt, it would be difficult saying goodbye to the people we've grown, with, grown, grown up with that have watched our dreams come true. I am very proud of being a witness of each and every one of your story, especially my twin sister, Alicia. I'm so proud of you, and I cannot wait to see what you achieve in life. 
I vow to cheer you on from the sidelines, no matter how far apart we may be, as you continue to write your stories. Lastly, I want to say thank you to the two best class advisors, Ms. Kenyatta and Ms. Gilberto, and the four class officers. Thank you for the continuous dedication and hard work you put into our class each and every year. I can't thank you enough. This is just the beginning of another story. Once again, class of 2024, congratulations to all of you. Thank you. Thank you, Kenyon, and indeed, it's been a pleasure to work with you. Thank you. Now, I introduce to you the salutatorian of the class of 2024, Emily Kepler. Good morning, faculty, administrators, parents, family, friends, and fellow graduates. We have spent the last four years waiting for this very moment, the moment where we are turning the page into a new and exciting chapter in our lives. Whether this chapter includes a brand new job, a college adventure, finding the love of your life, meeting new and exciting people, going to another country, or even just staying home and close to the people that care about you so very much. I could go on and on about the what ifs of everyone's lives and what the future may hold for you. But instead, I'm going to leave you all with some advice that some very important people helped me learn, and you know exactly who you are. The majority of my life, I have done everything I thought I was supposed to do. Take as many AP and dual enrollment classes as I could, join a bunch of clubs, work hard on and off the field hockey and lacrosse field, play club sports, and doing all of this while maintaining a part-time job to make some money. However, as great as this all sounds on paper, it led me to be very isolated and burnt out going into my senior year. I had struggles with my mental health and my anxiety and didn't think it was ever going to get better. But it did. And that's only because of a handful of amazing people that I was able to open myself up to and let them into my life with the help of my loving and very supportive parents. I'm not sure where I would be where I am today without you supporting me, laughing with me, at me and showing me how important it is to just have fun and enjoy life. Unfortunately, life can be too short and people can be taken from us way too soon. A great man, also known as Coach Matt Blue, once said that you should always put yourself in a better position for success, whether that be for work, academics, sports, and sometimes that could even mean taking a step back for yourself. You simply can't take the time we have for granted and have to make an effort to enjoy those little moments because those are the moments that you'll never forget. Thank you and congratulations to the class of 2024. Thank you, Emily. Now, I introduce to you our academic leader, and this year we have two. The member of the senior class earning the rank of one, the valedictorian of the class of 2024, Madeline George. Good morning, parents, friends, family, distinguished guests, and most of all, graduating class of 2024. I am honored to stand before you today as your class of 2024 valedictorian. I am honored to share this spotlight with one of my good friends and overall amazing human, Elizabeth Oldfield. It was not an easy road to get here, but we did it. All of our stories began back in the halls of elementary school. For me, this was Centerville Elementary. As a young girl, I was extremely anxious about going to school, an entirely new atmosphere with entirely new people. My mom would bribe my brother, William, a dollar to walk me to kindergarten class each day that I was too anxious to make the journey on my own. By the end of the school year, his piggy bank overflowed. I was scared of newness and found all of my comfort and familiarity, so much so that on days we would have substitutes, I would be too afraid to go to class, more specifically a substitute with bright red lipstick named Mrs. R. Ms. R, if you're hearing this right now, I'm really sorry for throwing a tantrum just from seeing your face. I hope you continue rocking that lipstick. I clung to things that I knew and feared change. My mom would volunteer to help with lunch duty each day so that I could see her and know that everything was okay. To this day, she recognizes several of my classmates from opening their milk cartons and drawing smiley faces on their cheeseburgers with ketchup over 12 years ago. 
As we stand here today, about to step into an ever-changing world, I can't help but reflect on the early days of seeking comfort in the familiar. Just as my brother's piggy bank overflow, I mean, grow, so did we. With each new year, several challenges have emerged, allowing opportunities for us to blossom and change. Just like my kindergarten self, we have may entered the doors of Queen Anne's County High School with uncertainty, afraid of the change ahead and faced with the adversity of an online freshman year. However, look at us now. High school has taught us to embrace challenges, seek new experiences, meet new people, and value stepping out of our comfort zones. Our journey through the years has been marked by transformation, a transformation that was not always easy, but always worth it. We learn to adapt, be resilient, and support one another through our endeavors, whether this be on sports teams, academic performance, meaningful friendships, musical achievements, and many more. We have come a long way, and I can confidently say that this class has left our mark. As we prepare to turn the page of our, the next chapter of our lives, let us carry with us, all, with us all that we've learned from our past, continue to cling to the values we hold dear to us, and not fear the newness that awaits us. Let us not forget that small, that small child that lives within us all. They would be very proud to see us today, the, the day that seems so far away. I'd like to give a special thank you to all the special people who have drawn smiley faces on our metaphorical cheeseburgers. Thank you to our amazing teachers who have pushed us to be better, both inside the walls of Queen Anne's County High School and out. Thank you to all of our administrators, guidance counselors, especially Ms. Moore, substitutes with red lipstick, custodians, and everyone in between. Thank you to my amazing dad, brother, and grandparents, whose love and support has never taken a day off. And finally, I would like I would like to thank my best friend, the woman who has given me my name in life's blood, Jennifer George. My mother has given up so much of her own life to make sure that mine is perfect. Mom, thank you for those early days walking me to class, volunteering for every tri field trip and every lunch duty. You have been my rock. It is because of you that I am the person I am today. Thank you for every sacrifice, every hug, every word of advice. Thank you for being the Lorelei to my Rory. I love you. Class of 2024, here's to new beginnings. May the future be as bright as the time we've shared together. Thank you. Thank you, Maddie. I present to you now our academic leader, the member of our senior class earning the rank of one. The valedictorian of the class of 2024, Elizabeth Oldfield. Good morning, fellow graduates, family, faculty, and staff. I am beyond excited to share this memo with you as your class valedictorian. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Elizabeth Oldfield. And if you had told me in elementary school that I'd be standing here delivering a huge speech to a huge crowd like this, I probably would have asked my parents to homeschool me. <laughs> I was the kid that cried before every class recital. I would run off the stage and sit with my grandparents in the audience and would watch my own class perform Christmas songs without me. I'm so relieved to share that I'm feeling okay up here, but I will not be singing any holiday songs on stage today, or ever for that matter. I'm sure we can all recognize that to get where we are today, we've individually done a lot of growing as students and as people, even in the short span of our four years in high school together. When we started in 2020, we had anything but a typical introduction to high school, a year full of bike rides and family walks, virtual learning, meeting our teachers' pets through Zooms, and unfortunately, missing many of our firsts as freshmen. Despite this, I'd say we turned out all right, for the most part anyway. If anything, this only highlighted one of our class's defining traits and strengths, resilience. The ability to face adversity in life is a skill that we've all gained and can continue to use in the coming years of our adult lives. Despite the challenges we've endured to make it to this moment, there are times that we've shared as a class that will be hard to forget. When you think back on your time in high school, you'll find that certain faces and moments stand out above the rest. Maybe you was trying not to laugh with your friends in a dead silent classroom, taking daily laps around the school, getting a part in the musical, or winning the big game against that one school down by the bridge. We all know the one. <laughs> our school's strong sense of community has allowed us to foster connections with our peers and teachers, and has shaped the identity of who we are today, and who we will become later in life. Together, we're all growing up and transitioning into the world of adulthood, which inevitably will come with having more responsibilities and obligations. In fact, just this week, I received my very first jury summons. 
So I ask each of you to please make every effort to stay out of trouble this summer. I'd like to see you all around town, but I'd really rather not see you in court. <laughs> in all seriousness, there's something to be said about the legacy that our graduating class is leaving on this school. Something that will serve as an example for upcoming classes and is a testament to the hard work and perseverance of each graduate during their time in this building. Walking across this stage and receiving your diploma signifies the end of a long and challenging journey, but marks the beginning of a new and fresh start. As you move on with your lives, I wish each of you personal success as you embark on this next chapter of your life. I'd like to quickly thank all the people who have supported me throughout my academic career. To my mom, who probably hasn't stopped crying since this ceremony started, I'd like to thank you for being my biggest cheerleader. My sister, whose footsteps I've followed in since I could walk, and to the rest of my family for their constant, constant unwavering support and encouragement. I'd also like to thank all of my incredibly supportive teachers, our fabulous class advisors, Ms. Goberto and Ms. Bowser, as well as our guidance counselor, Ms. Moore, who has done so much for us. Lastly, I'd like to thank anyone that's ever sat by me in class, smiled at me in the hallway, or let me out in the parking lot. And also to my friends for never letting me go a day without laughing. Thank you and congratulations, class of 2024. Thank you, Elizabeth. Kenyon, Emily, Maddie, Elizabeth, outstanding job. Congratulations. Now just sit back, relax, and enjoy. At this time, I'd like to recognize the students who have completed all with industry certifications, our career and te technical education programs. Students, when I mention your program, would you please stand to be recognized? Certified Medical, Geriatric, and Nursing Assistants. The National, the National Center for Construction, Education, and Research Certification in Welding, Masonry, and Carpentry. Business certifications in Microsoft Office, Intuit QuickBooks, and Accounting and Finance. Licensed in Cosmetology. Automotive Service Excellence certifications in Brakes, Electrical, and Electronics. Maintenance and Light Repair, and Suspension and Engineering. Would you please stand? <laughs> Autodesk Certified User in Revit for Architectural Design. These industry certifications represent an amazing amount of time talent and dedication to your field. Very, very impressive. Congratulations to you. As Dr. Salins mentioned earlier, I would also like to recognize those who have chosen to serve and protect our everyday freedoms. Those that have earned a position within our armed forces, our Army, Navy, Air Force, and the United States Coast Guard. Would you please stand? Thank you for your decision and for your future service to all of us. So seniors, I say this to you. I've had the opportunity to graduate 12 senior classes prior to you. And I say to you in the most sincere way that I can, I have not experienced a group that I could trust as much as you. That trust was developed over time, over the time that we spent here, established by your everyday conduct. Your leadership has been amazing and appreciated by all of us. As I've shared with you before, underclassmen watch you. They can't wait 
to be you. And I and we all are so very, very appreciative that the example that you have set is extremely worthy of being followed. You have truly paved the way. You have truly held the door open for those that will come after you. For a school, for a principal, that's very, very important. It has been a pleasure, as I mentioned, to work with you over your last three years in high school. I joined you after your freshman year. And I say to you, although the days have had the days of head, as you have heard, some may be challenging, but I am absolutely certain that if you continue the habits that you display every day, if you continue to exhibit your character, you will do amazingly well. Keep doing what you are doing, and great things you will earn. Dr. Salins, members of the Board of Education, I confidently state that our seniors are prepared. And I am absolutely certain that those that meet you in the days beyond today will be most impressed. Seniors, about to become alumni, I thank you again for being you. And I thank you again for the positive impact you have made on those around you. I very much look forward to your stories, and I very much wish you the absolute best. So class of 2024, are you ready to start walking this stage? I'm sure you are. So Ms. Moore, Ms. Bowser, Ms. Gilberto, the class of 2024, they are ready. I invite you to the podium for the presentation of their diplomas. Madeline Ann George. <laughs> Elizabeth Renee Oldfield. <laughs> Emily Kate Kepler. <laughs> Kenyon Dominique Smothers.
Kimberly Liliana Hernandez Hernandez. Mason Bryce Callis. Aaron Margaret Baldwin. Zachary Briar Blanchard. Owen Thomas Bayshore. Aiden Lewis Bonfoy. Hannah Grace Branham. Dalton Wyatt Brown. Kayla Alexandra Burroughs. Mel Evelyn Candela. Juliet Caden Chris. Abigail Joy Dennis. Emmeline Paige Dumont. Jenna Lou Durbin. Chloe Elizabeth Eismeyer. Nicholas James Esper. Georgiana Louise Finlay. Tony Ann Fiorino. Jackson O'Neill Fala. Nathan Schwery Forti. Abigail Alana Gunther. Elizabeth Claire Hamilton. Catherine Lauren Hershey. Molly Catherine Holthouse. Autumn Elizabeth Huber. Cameron Alexis Jacoby. Patricia May Johnson. Quinlan Titus Justice. Emily Lauren Marvel. Caden Elijah Minnick. Bethany Ann Nicholson. 
Faith Salora Novak. Cooper Elliot Obrey. Bailey Catherine Pinder. Anaya Kirsten Reed. Campbell. Benjamin Tate Robinson. Colin James Scattergood. Alyssa Ann Skinner. Molly Francis Slack. Jillian Ruth Stringer. Caroline Hughes Taylor. Leah Teresa Taylor. Anne Marie Elizabeth Thomas. Casey Ray Titus. Yeah. Ella Marie Zebedich. Nicholas Robert Adams. Yolanda Araceli Aguilar Castanon. William John. Aiken, <laughs> Douglas Andrew Alexander Jr., <laughs> Shyasia Jemiah Almonds, <laughs> Brianna Teresa Sequera Anteo. <laughs> Mackenzie Jacqueline Ashton. Brittany Bamaka Esteban. Aiden Patrick Banning. Savannah Nicole Barton. Camelia Grace Batcock. <laughs> Hannah Claire Bennett. <laughs> Madison Lee Bigby.
Maitland Scott Birch. Seth Eugene Blackwell. Julia K. Daisy Bland. Dominic Hudson Blue. Colin, Colin Colton Daniel Bollinger. Nicole Ann Bone. Roman Everett Bowers. Alexandra Grace Bradshaw. Hollis Charles Edward Branch. Benjamin Chastine Brooks. Alexis Lynn Isabella Brown. Ariana Rosalie Grace Brown. James Sylvester Brown Jr. Kyrie Amir Brown. Landon Michael Brown. Madison Nicole Brown. Savannah Catherine Buffum. Astri Daniela Cabrera Bamaka. Cameron Thomas Callahan. Keegan Percy Cardoza. Michael Francis Carroll. Darcy Dacey, Darcy Dace Scudder Chambers. Jake Wyatt Christian. Reagan Elizabeth Cole. William Franklin Conley the Fourth. Jasmine Delante Cooper. William Otto Coxon V. Colby William Christ. Rachel Lauren Crump. Savannah O'Brien Cummings. Patrick Joseph Darrell. Dylan Matthew Dean. Evan Wade Dickey.
work it, it was pretty good. My life, I was sticking to the chair. Oh. Jaden Michelle Downs. Mackenzie Ann Doyle. Kaylee Susan Drain. Emma Ruth Draper. Lynn Dudley, Gabrielle May Dumler, Mackenzie Madison Ebling, Avery Leanne Elborn. Lila Noel Ellis. Joseph Lee Embry. Christian Isaac Escalante Calmo. Araceli Escalante Morales. Gustavo Escudero Rosas. Carter James Eslick. Ermelinda Espinoza Morales. Rodolfo Espinoza. Amy Cheryl Lynn Esteban Roblero. Reef William Eubanks. Chloe Grace Fields. Aria Bella Franciconi. Dylan James Furrow. Thomas Nufri Delanis III. Jacob Alexander Gardner. Isabella Maria Genovese. <laughs> Addison Renee Gastoli. <laughs> Vincent Paul Gilberto. <laughs> Leslie Naomi Gonzalez Aviles. Barnaby Antonio Gonzalez Ramirez. Raul Serafino Gonzalez Ramirez. Morgan Elizabeth Gottlieb.
Nathan Connor Johnston. Jordan Riley Kafka. Bontai Josephina Kem. Emma Marie Kelly. Lincoln Andrew Kennedy. Hayden Marie Kilby. Justin Nicholas Kilby. Frank Carter Kelly. Wyatt Michael Klein. Jameson Owen Crucio. Joshua Thomas Coons. Rudy Badilio Juarez Perez. Travis Brian Lamb. Melissa May Lehman. Jeffrey Bryden Layton. Ethan Ryan Leager. Hannah Elizabeth Leavers. Michaela Elizabeth Lee. Gavin Richard Leaf. Jackson Anthony Lindsay. Andrew John Lynn. Justin Craig Lawler. Lindsay Marie Lucas. Hannah Jean Luff. Zachary Peter Mayday. Kaijay Malik Major. Kaimura Anye Major. Kira Nicole Malandro. Hayden Anthony Malecki. Leo Arthur Mangum. Megan Quimby Mansfield.
Michaela Lee Markow. Eric Hassel Martinez Rodriguez. Connor Joseph Martino. Julia Ann Mason. Alex Matthews. Robert E. McCarthy the Fourth. Samuel Gannon McMillan. Alexis Ella Meadows. Sophia Giselle Melendez. Luis Mendez Gabriel. Hunter Jackson Middlethon. Leah Rowan Miller. Samuel Aaron Miller. Helen Moreno Espinoza. Nicholas James Morissette. William Jack Nagel. Cooper Kinsman Nevins. Jayla Renee Newton. Yancy Mariana Orisco Velasquez. Lolita Olivia Verna Amelia Papanetti. Nicole May Lee Parker. Christopher David Parsley III. Madison Grace Pavlik. Roberta Perez Morales. Amber Nicole Phillips. Daniel Joseph Phillips the fourth. Noah Philip Pinder. Arlie Tamara Prado. Sean Thomas Prince. Eric Marcutilo Ramirez Domingo. Thank <laughs> you.
Nada Elizabeth Ramirez Hernandez. Alyssa Jade Rash. Brian Charles Reber. Julia Ann Reburn. Andrew Parker Redmond. Kellen Andrew Reese. Emily Lynn Rendulic. Sarah Marie Rennie. Temple Sydney Rhodes. Jaden Dean Robinson. Alessandro Maldini Roblero Galvez. Samantha Giselle Rosa Lopez. Jaheen Sintel Roy. Lucia Bella Scalio. Jenna Angelina Shanner. Roy Tyler Schauber. William Stephen Schindler. Gabrielle Rose Scully. Jalen Leonard Seals Stanley. Rihanna Jenaba Cisse. Jack Shagan. Wyatt Jason Shubrook. Elijah Nayati Silver. Gershon Singh. Colin James Seiwald. Darby Michelle Skinner. Emily Jane Smith. Parker Thomas Smith. No, you gotta put Preston first. Preston, I need you first. You gotta be in the right birth order. Preston James Smith. <laughs> Peyton Christopher Smith.
Alasia Monique Smothers. Richel Jordana Solis Bamaka. Kayla Marie Spence. Brandon Scott St. Germain. Takai Lamar Stansberry. Giles Montgomery Stanton. Alexander Garrett Stapleton. Serena Tamaya Marie Stowers. Zayn Danielle Stowers. Sherrod Conrad Stubbs. Taylor May Sutherland. Allison Nicole Taylor. Stephen Anthony Thompson, Jr. Taylor Oliver Thren. Rosemary Lynn Towers. Sydney Isabel Trivet. Nishawn LeBrian Turner. Kaylee Uritia Escabel. Luis Angel Vasquez Morales. Modesto Carlos Velasquez Arega. Kirsten Vikoskas. Vikoskas. Kendall Elizabeth Wagner. Navaya Danielle Wallace. Griffin Paul Walter. <laughs> Genesis Love Ward. Jaden Christopher Watson. Nathan Scott Wigley. Ariana Brielle Weingarten. Miranda Noel Welch. Thaddeus Anthony Williams. Kendall Summer Wills. Xavier Salik Wilson.
Markayla Anaya Wood. Maverick Shaler Woodward. Colin Anthony Wolford. Cordelia Esther Worth. Devin Trevar Wright. Owen Wesley Yardin. To certify your diplomas, I welcome to the podium the Board of Education President, Ms. Helen Bennett. Please let me add my congratulations to each of you on this milestone achievement. Though every one of you received the same high school diploma, every one of you had a unique high school experience. Different classes and clubs, sports and GPAs, different post-grad plans. Some of, you, some of you are sad to have it end. Some of you couldn't wait for it to be over. Your choices shaped your experience, so it will be in life. You will each have different paths based on your choices, attitude, effort, and determination to reach your aspirations. And I hope you have all set them high. This first step with your newly minted diplomas is a great foundation to start building on. And speaking of diplomas, on behalf of the Queen Anne's County Board of Education, having completed all the requirements of the Maryland State Department of Education, I officially declare you graduates of Queen Anne's County High School. Class of 2024, there is only one final task to complete. <laughs> At this time, would you please symbolize the transition from candidate to graduate, from student to alumni, by moving your tassel from the right to the left as I introduce you for the first time as Queen Anne's County High School graduates. Congratulations. All right, alumni, for your first time as alumni 